What's up everybody, Ben Lampkins here with Anglers Itch Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to be doing kind of a beginner's guide on what these schools of shad look like on your electronics. I'll be showing you what they look like on your side scan and your 2D sonar. So let's just get to it. All right, so I'm cruising around. I'll cruise around with my side scan first. You can see all these big clouds are, are shad, big, big schools of shad out there. You can kind of see the distance right here. You see there they start at 40 to 60 foot out so you'll find a cloud like that and you'll kind of turn the boat there's another one showing up right there you'll start going in the direction of that big cloud of shad all right see these are schools of shad on the side scan here those are big big balls of bait just huge schools of them out there that's what they look like on the side scan you start heading towards those Preferably with the trolling motor so you can sneak up on them. So here's an example of what uh, fish look like feeding on these schools. You can see these are the fish here underneath the school. You can see how the fish are kind of breaking up that school as they feed on them. Alright, now you see we're starting to come up on a thick school of them here. Okay, so on this example, I wanted to show off to the right there on that side scan. You can see the boat's approaching that large school of shad, and it's starting to now show up on the 2D sonar underneath the boat. And by using that side scan, I can identify that as a school of shad and not get it confused with any brush or anything that might hang your net up on that 2D sonar. Showing a school of them, and that's up underneath the boat. It's probably that batch right there you're seeing. Here's where big school shed. That's actually what this is here. See all that bait down there? It's just so thick underneath there. Ten foot of water, it's having a hard time read with how thick they are down there. So this example here, you can see where those schools of shad can get so thick that it might resemble the uh, bottom on that 2D sonar, but it's obvious that on that side scan, that's a school of shad underneath the boat. You can still see the difference from the bottom and that school. So we're gonna throw on that. Net full of shad. We go net full. Some bandies in there too. All right, well, now you kind of have a basic idea of what these uh, schools of shad look like on your side scan and your 2D sonar. You can kind of see how I, I use that side scan to locate these schools of shad off in the distance and then I'll hone in on them using a combination of that side scan and 2D sonar. Um, right now it's winter time so these schools are pretty pretty dense. Uh, that's how they stay warm is getting in these big tight schools. As it warms up these fish will move a lot quicker. These schools will tend to kind of break up a little bit and uh, approaching those schools will be a little more finicky so it's kind of important to have that net ready and learning your electronics as you're approaching that school so you can just throw on them because when it's warmer, those schools will move a lot quicker when that boat comes up. So they'll kind of spook and get out of the way. So you don't have as much time. So just kind of get the hang of it, of throwing on them, being ready. So even on warmer weather that you have that chance of filling that net up. Uh, with it being colder, it's a little easier. The schools move a little bit slower. Um, so it gives you a little bit more time to throw on them. But it's good to get good practice and a hang of uh, reading those side scan and 2D sonar so you know the distance they are from your boat. Um, and also, uh, you, you'll start to learn. Sometimes a brush can look a little bit like a school of shad, especially if you're new at it. Sometimes I still get a little tricked by it. But uh, you also have like a down scan, which is a little bit clearer picture if your electronics have it of what's underneath there. It can show if it's a uh, bush or uh, any kind of uh, cover that may be looking kind of look like a school of shad on that 2D sonar. So. Uh, there's a couple of things you can use if your electronics have that. Otherwise, get out there, get that net full, go catch some big catfish. We'll see you on the next one.